Lafayette police are continuing an investigation this evening after a man was found dead in his home this morning. News 18 Samantha Tiki is live from the scene with more on the investigation. Samantha. Jeff Gina, Lafayette police say the body was discovered by a neighbor checking on the man who lived inside the home. And now police say they're investigating what they call a suspicious death. Lafayette resident Cassandra Music says it's a scene nobody wants to see near their home. Cops everywhere. I have people blowing up my phone. And I came out and I was like, oh my gosh, I started crying. I'm like, what happened? What happens? I seen the tape. The police tape had been set up around a home just three doors down in the 1500 block of North 16th Street. Lafayette police were called to the home around 9 a.m. Wednesday after a neighbor found the man's body. We got a call from a female who came over to check on him and, and found him uh, inside the house. Police have not released the name or age of the deceased man. LPD Lieutenant Brad Hayworth wouldn't say if the death was a homicide, but police are looking for people who were seen at the home Tuesday night. We've gotten some information that there was a couple of people over at the house last night, and we're trying to, to find out who that was and track them down and talk to them. Music says she knew something was wrong when her neighbor wasn't outside to greet her. He wasn't outside. Usually, if you know we're outside, Rick will come down, talk to us, or you know, wave or something. It was quiet last night. Police also say a one-year-old boy was found unharmed in the home. He was released to his mother but is not related to the victim. Police say at this time the death is considered suspicious until the investigation is complete. We treat all deaths as suspicious until we can determine you know, exactly what the cause of death is. Now, although police say that this is not a, this may not be a homicide, they are considering it a crime scene, and they say they believe the man's death was not a random act. Reporting live in Lafayette, Samantha Tiki, News 18.